the University of Evansville in Evansville, Indiana, home to the Purple Aces and some of Indiana's best basketball moments. But with the men's team finishing just 6 and 24 last season, the best basketball squad on campus can no longer belong to the D1 Purple Aces. That title belongs to a different group of men. I sat down with members of the girls' practice team to see what they were all about. You're a girls' practice team player. Yeah, apparently I am. Uh... Yeah, tell me about that. I mean, I enjoy it. It's basically just a, another way for me to play basketball. So, I mean, pickup's sure. fun, but yeah. I enjoy going out there and playing with the girls. Basically, we're just like scout team form. We learn the other team's plays and run through drills with them. Um, basically, just give them a more physical body to be around. What we do is we kind of act as the other team and run through plays of the upcoming opponents and also just do drills. What's the, what's the commitment level like for the girls? girls practice? Oh, fully committed. Fully yeah. 110% committed. Uh, we get up for 6 a.m. practices. Oh, for real? Yeah, early, 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 yeah. It's like, I kind of feel like sometimes I'm an athlete. I'm a very uh, high-level athlete. I think I'm a D1 athlete. Uh, some people might disagree, but, you know, they're just haters of our team. Because you're not there on scholarship. You're just there. No. Yeah, we're just showing up to yeah. help them out for fun. So after talking to some of the players, I decided to come to one of their practices to see if they really were D1 caliber athletes who played for fun. What's the competition level like uh, at practices? I'd say it's honestly a lot more competitive than I thought it'd be. Um, you know, I think both teams are able to compete very well. We're obviously able to win a lot of drills. Um, I think we've messed well as a team so far. We got a lot of guys that can actually play very well. And uh, the girls do a good job of putting up a fight, but you know, they can't always handle us like, like they want to. After practice, the guys seemed pretty good, but I wasn't completely convinced. So I had a chat with Celine, who played on the women's team. And it seems like there may have been some issues for the guys. Would yeah. you say that like the girls you play against in games like are different than the guys that you practice against? Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, like it's the same kind of player. It's just like just a super fast. Yeah. So like either way, like no one's as fast as him. What about like because I talked to Lucius and Evan about the whole like blocking issue. Yeah. What do you think about that? Do you think the guys? Do you think that they block the girls too much in practice? I mean. Yeah, but no. I know that uh, there's a looming issue with the coaches on the team and you know what they what they tell you guys to not do. Do you know? Do you know what I'm talking about? Ah, uh, like not injuring the girls at all. Yeah. So I don't know. Pretty much when we're going in for layups or doing our moves, we can't really. Kind of have to hold back a little bit, but I still have a lot of fun out there. Yeah, let's touch on that. So you said hold back a little bit. Like, in what ways? Um, I mean, the coaches kind of told us to go like 50, 60% at sometimes. The guys' team wasn't able to go 100% due to the fact that they were men and they could injure the women. But with the practice team this good, I was begging to know what exactly 100% would look like. Would you guys consider yourself like the best basketball team like at UE? You could say that. If you went 100%, could you beat the men's team? We would have a chance. 